New at 5.30, an unwanted pest is making a comeback here in southern New England. We've learned the gypsy moth caterpillars have hatched and doesn't look good for your trees. Meteorologist TJ Dos Santos spoke with a local expert about just what you can expect. He's got the details now from the Northwest Mobile Newsroom in Situate. The gypsy moth caterpillars are hatching and this year is expected to be a bad one. These little black squiggly things are gypsy moth caterpillars emerging from their egg masses, ready to start eating the leaves on our trees. The caterpillar population is expected to be even higher than last year. The problem started two years ago when we had a very dry spring. Rain helps to spread a virus among these insects. The natural fungi and, and uh, virus that usually kill off the gypsy moths and keep them down to a manageable level didn't work at all. Last year's drought didn't help either. More than 230,000 acres of Rhode Island. It was more than half the woods of Rhode Island were defoliated last year. In a month-to-month -month comparison of satellite photos from last year, you can see the damage the caterpillars did to the trees. We could be looking at maybe even more defoliation than last year. Many trees can only be defoliated three times before they die, and a defoliated forest can be dangerous, especially when it comes to fires. If we got normal rainfall this year, that would help next year, but not this year. Even if the population crashes this year from these diseases, we're still going to have a lot of gypsy moths around and a lot of defoliation. If you have a prized tree, this is the time to try to protect it. If you're going to spray your trees uh, to protect against gypsy moths, the time to do it is when the caterpillars are small. A, a BT insecticide you might be familiar with, Bacillus thuringiensis, and it kills only caterpillars. The gypsy moth caterpillars typically munch away in our trees right into the end of June. Then you can expect to see swarms of moths in July. With the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.